with Cinder and Alistair. As a reminder, again, Golden Guardians for late roster submission do lose a ban, which is why they only ban Malka in Phase 2. But Graves and Lilia took Iconic Jungles away, which is why he's on Udyr. And last but not least... Bullying him is super, super hard here. Uh, with the teleport coming in, this is going to be a dive for sure. All right, well, he might have an orange. He does have a flash, as you can see already. There's the stun, there's the follow-up stun, and see you later, Ooh. Niles. That's first blood for impact. All right. UK's out of mana, and the enemy bottom lane recalled. So that is coordinating with both of your lanes around yeah, EG, the I'm going to start this dragon. Iconic's ready in the brush. Niles trying to run down here, and he's going to meet impact in the river. Dominus has popped. Niles not going to get stunned off. The damage is massive here from Renekton. But they're trying to fight kind of on two fronts here. The dragon is low. He's going to be killed by Sven Skarin, but a blaze all of an Iconic. Maybe you found Ignar. He's going to pop ulti there. Great hook there. He's going to find the jungle. Fairly squishing is the Orion ulti. He's going to make sure Sven Skarin goes down. A blaze all is going to pick up that kill. But here is Renekton as well. Oh, Sticks say they're going to start hitting it. And Iconic's down here, so even though it is a 3v3, Sven Skarin is actually in the area. Uh, E.g. do not feel comfy trying to make something happen. Or continue to use uh, their early lead. See if uh, if they can actually take down these outer turrets, though, to try and uh, keep their territory up, because Golden Guardians are looking very, very stable right now. They're, uh, ooh, good route, too. Oh, that hook is well buffered through. Jazuke, I think he's dead, but the ulti out onto Stixxay is going to get himself a kill. He will be traded off by a Blaze Oliver's Igna. With no ulti, he's going to have to run. He's able to burn down Stixxay. Not much of a change for the map state. Top tower goes down, Damage. but nope. but for pro play, I highly recommend just continuing to build tank. Uh, you, you're not supposed to be the damage for pro play. Um, that's as well, so gonna fill the outer ring, open up a lot of space on this map for themselves. So despite the first tower going over to Golden Guardians, boom, immediately number two and number three are down. EG close this loop. They keep up the pressure too with a good power play on bottom side, getting a tier two for themselves. I don't think Gangplank Ultimate's gonna do enough here to be able to stop Only the Rift Herald activation in mid for GG will allow them a rebuttal. And they're going to leave too, because, yep, the rest of them are here. Igna is going to start it off with a pulverized headbutt combo. And the follow-up from Deathly is good, but now got to find the bullets here. Newbie, though, in fog is going to get spotted. Impact also ready to stun him up. And again, another combo. Renekton's good with everything. Sort of Udyr, but not quite enough damage. An awful lot of shields here for this Udyr, but... Watch old impact in the top left hand corner of your screen. He's going to pop Dominus and go in. Iconic's actually trying to chase him down, but here comes impact. Newbie in the front side is maybe going to cause himself some trouble as the ulti from Oriana is actually going to keep Six Day alive for a little while longer, but not long enough as definitely finds one. Iconic almost getting sniped there as well as Niall's going to have to run back towards the enemy jungle. And EG just find the center of Golden Guardians and break them as now a long range route lands on Niall's Igna. Fighting here, this GP, but a Blaze Olive here as well. <laughs> Niles with the last gun trying to dance his way out of there. A Blaze Olive does get the kill onto Igna, but now he's gonna have to fight with the shield, but onto Deftly. Looking reasonably strong, flashes in, gets the trade kill, but Deftly will get it get it Back in the end. On this Renekton means another one team fight. He can't keep getting away with this pastry. It's just, <laughs> it's like clockwork. Stixe is basically isolated here, so Impact goes in for, for the engage through Gangplank Barrels, through Udyr, through Thresh. Uh, here oh, we go for another attempt. They're doing it again. Oh, Jazuke caught great ulti there out of Stixe actually to grab it him once again. And now Iconic trying to chase down Deathly. Deathly's got no Ig summoners. The bear is in. Orion is behind it. And Igna playing goalie is going to keep Iconic out of there. But is he the one in trouble perhaps now? He does have his ultimate at the ready. Orion no ulti, but still speeding up the Udi, which is nice. But the boys off starting to take damage. It's a 3v4 right now. Golden Guardians perhaps went a little too far forward. There's the Thresh going to fall as Newbie is caught under fire by Deathly. And Golden Guardians being very aggressive. Yeah, there is purpose to all this, as Golden Guardians continuing to use their vision here around the river. Igna, though, has found the angle. Three-man pulverized. Jaduke goes in. What a massive stun under Stixe. And now he's trying to cut it out. He's still alive. There was a lifesteal out of the pistol. is keeping him up. And Golden Guardians have turned it back around his impact. Ooh. He's trying to make it happen. But Stixe got so much health back. Gets stunned, though. Stixe's still alive. They need to make sure he's OK. Impact goes golden. But he is going to fall to Niles, who finally gets his revenge as the Blaze Olive gets shut down by Sven Skarin. The Dragon goes to Golden Guardians. Another stun from Jaduke. Oh. Looks to seal this fight. But Stixe, the key member, has stayed alive somehow in this fight this is one of the cleanest looks that you can possibly have for eg that that flank uh here we go 
Yeah, we're going again. In fact, already found the angle in onto Iconic. He is going to get shredded down. It's definitely going to secure the kill. And here comes the ulti to follow up the stun again from Dazuke. Finds the frontliner as Newbie pops the lock of the eye. Going to turn it back around and shockwave up from a Blaze Olive. Is going to make sure Dazuke falls down, but under the tower is a Blaze Olive. Stix has already been felled and Newbie will fall as well. Niles now a little bit late to Gabe. the team. Now, Niles in a Blaze Olive. Two against the Baron here. Can they get a Miracle Steal? Yep, here's Ignatho. What a great angle. Niles goes into the enemy team, not where he wants to be, and no Oriana shields are going to save you as the Blaze Olive also will meet the same fate. He's trying to chunk them down to Fenskeren, though. They're going to go gold, and Impact is busy finishing off the Baron, and they'll let a Blaze Olive live. Maybe no Svenskeren with enough damage from the Red Buff Burn, I believe, are going to get all the kills and the Baron. And evil geniuses will pick it up. What a game like, one here. Not a particularly easy thing for Udyr to do, even with all this move speed. We, so. They need an item that extends melee strike range. <laughs> that will be one of Udyr's effects. in, though. You have to get a cleanse out, and Gale forces to safety. Yeah, what do now? Impact is behind us. We just use our flash oh, no. forward. It's a flank. Dixay needs to live. Impact in the front side, but he's so tanky here. The Gore Drinker going off as Niles has maybe found a wraparound angle, but Jazuke is going to shut that down with a stun and force the flash. Impact still low-ish, but you got to fully kill the Renekt in here, and they haven't done the job of that just yet. As a Blaze Olive ready with the ulti. Golden Guardians thinking about a re-engage here as Niles is going to be forced to base and TP back in. This is Mountain Soul, of course, for EG, and they have started the Dragon already. All right, you can steal one of these with uh, with an Oriana Shockwave. A Blaze of Olive is looking for it over the back. Iconic into Spike Bite. Oh, don't get it. The soul goes over to EG. And Niles now on the front side is going to get plucked up by the Lantern. Sticks is still alive. A Blaze Oldo forced to flash his impact. He's just so tanky, man. Dazuke flashing in. Let's the ulti go. A Stixie goes golden to try and protect himself. But Sen Skerrant is going to find him. But good time Lantern there from Newbie keeps him safe. As Iconic now forced to get himself out of there as Newbie is just taking fire from everywhere. Stixie still healing back up. TP's back in this time. It's the mid laner of Golden Guardian as the Thresh will fall finally. EG gonna find two as definitely grabs the double kill. And the Pulverize there is gonna find Iconic. Make it three for the Jin as definitely is just collecting Wide it. Wide open. Niles and Ablaze Olive trying their best, but it's not gonna be enough. Same defense as last time, but Niles just gonna get locked up. Jazuke gonna claim kill on number four. And Ablaze Olive, the last one on the table for the ace. Impact wants it. He's gonna grab the stun and see you later. As Impact's gonna grab the Bud Light ace and the victory for Evil Geniuses. Yep, inhibitor tower goes down, inhibitor short to follow. With those two kills chased down, they're probably looking to finish. Well, they are at least going to try Newbie, the sole defender of the Nexus right now. Hexflash here, trying for Igna, right in front of him. There is the pulverized combo. Impact's going to make sure to finish that off. Jazuke almost kills Stixie in the fountain as he lets the ulti rip. And Stixie can only watch as his Nexus falls. It's game one to EG in a few brief moments as they're just going to pile up the KDAs. But Scarin, very fancy into the laser he goes. He will fall. But the shut as the shutdown goes over to Aphelios. But Evil Genius is doing what we expected by the end of that uh, game. Most we'll recognized champions in his collegiate slash amateur days. It's not the Niles special. A Seraphine going to be locked in here for EG, which is always nice to see. And that is going to be able to roam um, using their ultimates. And bottom side might be the site of that roam. Yep, actually going to go straight there. A Blaze Olive lines it up, and that's first blood for Stick Save. The enemy top laner generally. But uh, it was the bottom side where the action happened since Garen. At least rotates Let's down. Work off a plate by hand. We haven't seen uh, Blaze Olive able to use that ulti again. Is the other thing as well. After that first one, you know, being contained, being pressured by Jazuke and Sven is nice. Says, yep, teleport's coming in everywhere. That's Rise. Ooh, then Scaram pops out as well. Now Niall's going to have to play Ring Around the Rosie in the alcove. Does have his flash. Going to go in onto Jazuke, knock him back, but there's no getting out of that one. As the Blaze Olive wants in, looks for the kill on Jazuke, but the wild cards are going to miss. He flashes in, and that's a tragedy for the Twisted Fade as Impact grabs the double kill. Two, an instant Rift Herald full tower play has come true. Evil geniuses by their time. They got the Rift Herald so early, they had multiple looks to go for, and they complete the ideal play. First turret bonus for them, hard shove on top side to ram it right back through. It will be a counter dragon for Golden Guardians, but the problem with that is that uh, because you give up so much gold with this power Rift Herald play on top side with an entire turret uh, worth of turret plates, uh, plus the extra kills, now you don't have the items because they're so far behind in gold to actually fight the next dragon. Oh, impact. That was so filthy. If there were no minions there, that would have been even sweeter. And that fact might still be good enough. Jazuke zooming in. Ready with the phase rush. No flash from last time. Impact flashes into Secure, and Jazuke gets gifted to the kill. top lane, which is kind of the 
The thing that cascaded to this point of the game. Oh, he's there again. Niles. Hello. You know, 1v4. Ooh, very fancy, but I don't think it's going to get you out of there. Going to knock Impact back. But Ignar's the one to claim the kill here as the rest of Golden Guardians are going to maybe try for a counter kill. Jeffrey isn't here, but there's no angle for the fight there for Golden Guardians as Niles just goes down. Ah, uh, yeah. You got to think there's just... Still okay, going, well. by the way. Another route from this rise is causing a lot of issues. Onkos snipes! Iconic over the side, and Ignar gets a well-deserved kill. So Jizuke, his rise just has never found a, a snare he didn't like. Although there's the uh, TP back in. Jizuke going to be the target, but he's going to turn it back around. Sticks it right on top of the EG mid laner. But now the TP in that from EG. That's impacts right into the middle of everybody, and uh, that might not be recommended. Shut down there for Sticks. They Ignar letting it rip. Does get the encore onto Nubia, but the root does not land, and Golden Guardians pick one up. Yeah, that was deep. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm defaulting to trust on impact. That is a deep <laughs> teleport under the turret. Uh, it turns out, yeah, Golden Guardians are well equipped to handle that one. They lock him right back down. EG give one back. All right, well, looks like EG going to have enough health and pressure to go for this next dragon. In fact, Niles is one to finish off the tower. TP back in from Niles. They're playing aggressively here for this Drake, it looks like. Wanted to make sure they're the first team to take Drake number two. Just leaving Shelly in the mid lane. Set it and forget it. I actually like that because they're going to contest around this dragon. Keep GG here. Shelly will take care of a lot of damage on that mid turret while they work with Golden. Now it's a little too low though. Gets rooted again. And definitely just the one to clean it up. And now Impact is here on the front side. He gets himself stumped. But Jazuke on that flank is going to mean EG should have this Drake unless the steal comes in. But it does not. It definitely. That's out. In fact, Golden Guardians can't get in. They're going to lose the Baron. That. Kaisa W looked very close, but Smite is uh, there for Sven And here comes Dezuke, going to get the boys in with the ulti out of Rise. And it's carnage as Sven is going to take out Niles. Onker over the top there for Ignar as Iconic goes golden, but there's just abilities being thrown every possible way. As Deftly is going to find the snipe and all blades. Olive, two for one already, going to make it three for a Stixay gets rooted by Ignar's very nice skill shot accuracy. Although Stixay is going to try and turn it back around. Deftly flashes in there to secure the next one. As it's three dropped already Even for Even though he only has impact with the Gragas damage there. All right, let's check in on Jizuke, though, quickly. He is going to knock down the tier two in mid. No way to defend that one. The Spence Garen's going to go in. Gale forces forward. Impact's also in there. Great ulti straight into the Seraphine. And definitely just picking people off. Easy as you please with the Jin. All right, they oh, keep it going. Oh, Charm of it. Dixay, follow up route. No good. EG moving back in. It's just going to be absolute massacre here in the midland as Niles finally gets himself a trade, but now he's got to hightail it out of there. And does get out. All right, well, put pressure still here for EG. They're going to knock down this mid inhibitor. Three series here as EG looking like with almost a 10k gold lead, they'll be able to reset after One. this. Uh, EG won't give them that opportunity. Teleport over five members strong straight through top. Impact's at it again, though. As EG do take down the top inhibitor tower, they're going to look to take the in here pretty quickly here as well. The boys all with the rapid fire gold card trying to find a, a juicy target. We can't get it just yet as the in-hip does fall. Impact in there again. Jazuke insta-flashes in. Seraphine ult is going to follow through. A two-man charm there out of Ignar. As Deftly once again is playing Janitor. And Stixa is going to try and make something happen. But Sven Skaren going to shut that down as Rakan gets sniped off by Deftly. And Impact will seal the deal as Iconic. The only one left alive as Deftly grabs himself the triple. And it's looking to be yet another ace here as Iconic into oh. the fountain. He goes. Deftly wants to take him down. <laughs> he gets himself killed though. Executed in fact. As Iconic will not that fall. But unfortunately for Golden Guardians, the Nexus will not share the same fate as the Lilia, as EG will take the expected 2-0 sweep over Golden Guardians. They even put the ward down to remember the spot definitely died at the Fountain again. That's the second time, by the way, in lock-in tournament uh, that he has died, the Fountain Laser. <laughs> Jumping 